this is your love reading for the month of July 2017 for anyone who's a single Virgo Sun Moon rising or Venus um, and then also if you're wondering about somebody who's got some heavy Virgo in their chart so Virgos in July whoa okay so before I get started with the spread that I had planned for you they're like decisions have to be made and I know that this is interesting um, the way that this is going to come out with the next card here because we are single okay it's saying we have to make decisions about um, you know am I attracting people who want different things so perhaps Virgo you're like I want a soulmate like I want a forever kind of person and you're bringing in these people who you know want something more casual, that they don't want, you know, they're not ready, they're not, you know, maybe they're fresh out of the door, or maybe they're young. They're not necessarily like, hey, this is what I want too. And so you're drawing them in. You're meeting these people, and then you're upset when you find out that they don't want these things when they told you initially. Okay, so that's some of you here. I'm sorry for... Um, those notifications. I don't know how to shut them off um, to stop them from popping up in the video. So anyway, um, how are you seeing yourself for ghosts in the month of July in regards to love? It's like, well, you're not really heartbroken, okay? You're single. You're not heartbroken about it. Um, by staying single, you're not letting other people hurt you. Um, but you're like a little bit defensive about this. You're like, I don't necessarily want to be single, but you know, like it has its perks, so I'm not getting hurt, so that's okay. Um, how are others seeing you in the month of July? Well, they don't see you as crazy, <laughs> but they do think that maybe um, you're not being fair. So perhaps it's you who's after a casual relationship, and you're um, kind of dating people who want something more serious, and maybe you're not being really honest about that, or you are, and then they're like, oh, okay, well, do you think that'll change? And like in your heart, you know that it won't, but you're like, maybe, and so you keep seeing them. They're like, but this is ultimately not going to make you happy. So, you know, as we're dating, as we're meeting people, let's try to get that kind of stuff out of the way early in the month in July so that we can bring in what it is that we actually want. So what do we need to avoid this month? Okay, so this is interesting because what it's saying is we need to avoid feeling like maybe we're um, a loser or maybe we're just not good at relationships or we're not good at meeting people. We're not good at talking to people um, because if we're in that mindset, things are not going to change. We're going to have the same energy July, August, and into September actually. I would say about halfway into September, um, especially in August though. And so what it's saying here is this can all very quickly change, but it's like a cyclical mindset that we have and we need to break that pattern of thinking okay so as soon as um, we start viewing ourselves like in like successful in whatever it is that we want whether we want to be in a relationship or not once we believe that that's possible once we start saying I'm in the process of attracting a relationship with somebody that I deeply bond and connect with somebody um, that is right for me somebody that respects me that you know um, is romantic all these things that you want once you start putting that out there that you're worthy of that um, that that it's out there for you, that you have the time for, for all of these things, then it's going to come into you, into your life, okay? Um, now, some cards fall on the floor here. And what I've got are the following. Okay. Um, opportunities are coming in and you just don't know if you want to take them. Um, but if they do have the same long-term outcome, like, or goal in mind as you, then, then it's actually something worth pursuing. And that's because, okay, so... You know, maybe you're meeting people who do kind of want the same things, but they have different ideas on how that looks. Um, maybe you're of different religions, different, uh, you know, cultures, something like that. And you're like, oh, I don't know if that would ever work. Like, um, I'm a Muslim and, and they're a Christian. Or I'm, um, you know, Mexican and they're black. Whatever. That kind of a thing. Um, and you're just kind of like, oh, I don't know how it'll work. Trust me, it will if you want the same thing. You'll find your way. Okay, that's what it's saying. So don't discount someone just because they're different from you this month because they might have something really wonderful to offer you. So if you're always going after the same type, well, that hasn't been working for you. And so if you're like, well, this is my type and that's the cyclical mindset that we're in that we need to break free of. Like I always date like men who are um, 
six feet tall, blonde, um, and they're always doctors, <laughs> you know, something like that. And then here comes a guy with brown hair or red hair, and he's five foot nine, and he's a carpenter. And you're like, mm, it's not my type. Well, you know what? He might be your type in a very more fulfilling kind of way. Emotionally, he might meet your needs a lot better than this other guy. So that's what they're saying. They're not saying like, don't give up on the things that you want, but just be a little bit more open to like physical appearances or circumstances, okay? Now, um, what is it that you need to do to attract more love this month? And it says, um, you know, just being you, actually, because this is a very Virgo card. Like, you pay attention to details. You've got everything. Um, this is a very single Virgo card. Where you've got every all your ducks in a row. Like, everything's aligned. Um, you're organized. Like, you've got money. You've got a good job. Like, everything's fine. Everything's good. You have pretty much everything in life except for love. Um, and they're like, don't let that bum you out too much. Like, focus on the things that are positive and good that are working for you. Um, don't lie to yourself that you don't have enough confidence or enough value to bring in somebody that you really do want. Um, because that that's a lie. Like, whatever it is that you want, you deserve it. Okay? Like, you're going to get it. Um, they're like, but you don't necessarily believe that. And so, um, like if you just kind of try <laughs> to believe in yourself and that love is coming, like new opportunities will come and they could actually come through work this month, which is really interesting or, um, through like your neighborhood. So I don't know if there's like a neighborhood block party for somebody who's watching this or, um, you know, maybe, um, somebody new moves down the streets or perhaps somebody's visiting your neighbor, something like that, but something through neighborhoods or through work. Okay. So what is working for you this month? Okay. This is kind of confusing um, because what it's saying is what is working for you this month is that you're not actually out yet of this kind of cyclical pattern because there are lessons that we're learning from these patterns, you know, where things don't change. We start to feel hopeless. We feel kind of weak. We start to feel like we're never going to meet that person we grow old and, with, and retire with. Like we're unhappy. Um, we're not really finding all of these things. That's actually working um, in your favor th that we've been in that mindset because we're, as time passes, we're like, okay, wait a minute. Like, I have been in that mindset for a long time. Maybe this is why things are happening. And so then we make the decision to change it. We have a lot of, like, like um, very specific kind of decision-making energy here in this reading where it's like, I am going to take matters into my own hands, like the way that I'm thinking about things. This is like cognitive behavioral therapy. Shift the way that I'm thinking away from not having... A lover or um, not settling for just like sexual encounters and then it will come so I mean you know like the more that you think about how long you've been in that mindset like in this negative mindset like then the more you're gonna realize wait 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 <laughs> that's why I'm still here in this physical reality okay so what is working against you um it's not actually other people and so once you know, once you're taking these actions, you will find the stability, but like what's working against you is not having these kind of positive thoughts, not putting it out there to the universe, to the universe, God, Allah, spirit guides, angels, whatever it is that you believe in. Okay. Um, what lessons are you overcoming in the month of July in regards to love and how to attract it? What's preparing you? Individuality, leaving your unique stamp of love on everything that you do. And so this is like that month of be yourself, right? Because I had that single Virgo card. Like, you are good. You are good enough. You are perfect for somebody out there. You know, they say there's someone for everyone. Your perfect person is out there just waiting to come in and find you. And so you just have to be like open and say, you know what? I am really perfect for somebody. And there's somebody really perfect out there for me. And they're going to show up. And you could even say they're going to show up in July because you have that power this month. So what is the overall outcome for single Virgos in the month of July? They're like, if you're not feeling hopeless, then you'll have something to celebrate about. <laughs>
So yay, it's very, very likely that you could draw in the right person for you. So good luck. I don't think you'll be single for long if you can make that simple mental tweak and love and light. See you next time. Bye. Thanks so much for watching my video. Check out terriblyaccurate.com for a personal reading. Follow on Snapchat, like on Facebook.